Hello there, this is Info Rockstar. I'm going to teach you how to use Mixcraft to create your own ringtones. First, you're going to have to open Mixcraft. Okay, now, you have to choose a music file. In this case, I've already created a music file to show you for this demonstration. Okay. Now, Normally, when I've made ringtones in the past, I've learned that I needed to increase the volume to make it loud enough when I've got my ringtone turned all the way up. So I'm going to take this to 150, go all the way to the end, take it to 150. Okay, now, the ringtone on your, on your cell phone needs to be anywhere between 30 and 32 seconds. So I'm going to cut this off. And split it somewhere around 33. Cut. Shorten this to 32. Now I want my ringtone to fade out, okay? That way it doesn't just abruptly stop during a phone call. So about 29 seconds. I want to create that fade out. Let's listen to it. Okay, now I've got it 30 few seconds long. Uh, I've got the fade out starting about 29. You can fade it out earlier if you'd like by using these points. Um, it's really up to you. Okay, I've left this at 100. Um, depending on the song you got, your song may be a little bit quieter than, say, an, uh, you know, than you'd like it. You could you can adjust this up if you want, or you can just use these or both. And, th and, and I do this to make it loud enough so I can hear that, f ring, that phone ring. So, let's go ahead and render this. And like I said, you, I just used this. I just created this in about five minutes just to use it as, you know, as the subject for creating, a, a, showing you how to create a ringtone. So, do that. 32 seconds long. Fade it out. Let's mix it down. But I want to show you something we st before we start to mix it down. I don't want to save anything. You can create a lot of different kinds of files, okay? Um, we're going to be creating an MP3. I'm going to call this Info Rockstar Ringer. Okay. I'm going to save that like so. I don't want it to play. Okay. Now, let's get the phone ready, and I'll show you how to migrate this to an Android phone. And then I'll tell you some details on how to get your new ringtone that you've just created onto your iPhone. Okay, I'm going to plug in my Android. I'm using the Note 2. And Windows will find out about it here in a second. A window will pop up asking me what I want to do. I want to open device to view, to view files. Okay, now we're in the device. I'm going to go down to ringtones. Where's it at? Here we go. This all the, has all the ringtones. These are ringtones I've built using uh, Mixcraft. Now here's the ringtone that I want to put on my onto my phone. Whoops! I'm just going to drag and drop it. And there it is. Now let's go to my phone, and I'm going to select that ringtone, and you'll hear this from my phone in the video. I'm going to go to settings. My device, this is on an, uh, an Android phone. Uh, so settings, my device, sound. I'm going to select ringtones. And I'm going to scroll down to mine. And there we are playing it. It's pretty loud. Okay, 
Now that's on my Android. Just did it in less than a couple of minutes. Now to get your new ringtone that you just created onto your iPhone, you'll have to import that ringtone as an MP3 into iTunes as just a song. Then create a playlist to be able to import it into your phone as regular music. Then, then, re then you can select it as a ringtone that way. Um, it's the same way as you would just create a regular music playlist, okay? So, that's how you do that. Um, if there's anything that I left out, or anything, any, if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. But, like I said, you can create a ringtone using this process with any song, as long as that song is in a format that Mixcraft supports. Um, be on the lookout for a couple of new Mixcraft videos coming up really soon. Maybe even today if I get around to it. Um, and uh, please subscribe.